Hello, maestros. This episode, I'll be showing you how to make some boilerplate emails. We'll be learning about the past clipboard token as well as the until action. First action that we want is the prompt for user input. We have a nice little loop variable here. Let's give it a try and say, yo, how many emails you want to cook up today? I just want two. Next action. So is our repeat action. The very first action on our repeat action is actually another repeat action because we're trying to copy each variable. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to copy, pause, make sure it goes into our copy, and then go right to our next thing that we want to copy. In the end, it will be over here. So we want to queue up our next line since it's a repeat loop. And to queue it up, if you don't have the home key, just go left, 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 down. Not that many downs, but yeah, like that. Last thing to do is a send email. Let's go ahead and send an email right there with that little action. And this is the text that I want to copy in and then paste that in. And let's go back to our cells to show you the past clipboard. So I'm open up my clipboard here. I'm going to delete this, to make things a little more nice to look at. Command copy, right command copy, right command copy. So when I copy it up, this is, will be in my current clipboard. So then I can go ahead and select that and then go edit, go to edit, insert token. You can go current clipboard or just to make things consistent, go with the past clipboard. But this is past clipboard one. This would be past clipboard one. This would be past clipboard two. And this would be cl past clipboard zero. So keeping that in mind, let's go ahead and update this little number to zero and then we can copy this and put it over john because john like i said was in clipboard one let's put that in there and number one and this was in number two spot there we go all right so let's go ahead and change from send now just to leave open since we're still trying to test things out let's make sure that we have our first little email selected and I hit f10 Boom. How many times do I want to do it? Just twice. Do, 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 Pretty nice. So now we got two little emails here. Fresh emails. You see, I got uh, Jane right here. ABC, Jane, XYZ, John, and John. We are good to go. But let's say we didn't even want that re that little prompt for user input. Well, we don't want it. Just get rid of it all together don't even want it. And then instead of changing um, referencing that loop, just go to set it for one, you know, set it for one. And then drop in our until action, drop in, a, drop that into our until action. And then all we have to do is put in a type, a keystroke action. And then we just want to have a copy so that we're testing out our, you know, our re, re repeat state. So all the conditions fine. A new condition is going to be a clipboard condition and that clip condition is um right now the current version of keyboard maestro is giving me a currently unknown error so we want to do is just quit it out and open up again and then boom we're good to go currently false but let's see if i copy it in. but oh it's still false what's going on well actually there's like a little mystery meet in here and it's real weird it might be like a little return but you have to copy it and paste Copy this empty cell and paste it in, and then you'll be good. And then you'll be good. All right, we're good. Try it again. Ten. Look at that. No, no prompt. No prompt. And it's just going, and then it stopped. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how to make some boilerplate emails with Keyboard Maestro. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.